In this video, I'm going to show easy leg strengthening exercises for seniors and beginners. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over easy, straightforward leg strengthening exercises. Exercises that are focused on building balance, coordination, stability, and strength in the legs, knee, hip, and back. All of these exercises, they work just a little bit differently, so make sure to go through them all and use what gives you the best results. As a bonus, all of the exercises can be done at home and require no special equipment. So let's get started. One of my favorite ways to build leg strength and help improve balance in a very easy way is with the chair circuit. We just need a sturdy chair for this one, preferably one without wheels. I'm going to break this exercise up into two separate parts. In the first part, we're going to focus on getting the muscle, the soft tissue warmed up so we have more flexibility, more range of motion to build into the second part, which are the strengthening exercises. So let's go right next to our chair. Have very good upright posture. During the exercise, let's tighten the core for more support and put your weight evenly on your feet. So the first exercise is known as a leg extension. Take your hands right here, grip right onto the chair. We want to make sure to try to keep our back as straight as possible during this exercise. Don't round into it. But the movement is pretty easy. I'm just going to take one leg back like this as far as I can, kind of like taking the heel upward towards the ceiling. The more that you go up, the more that you're going to feel a ton of muscles fire in the leg, the thigh, around the hip, into the glutes and the lower back. You want to do this one nice and slowly. It's all about controlling this motion and hold this for five seconds. From there, you're just gonna come back and then you're going to repeat it on the other side. You want to do this one for 10 complete repetitions on both sides. And with each repetition, build into it just a little bit more. It's all about building balance, coordination, and strength. The second one, what we're going to do is take our legs straight outwards. So again, have very good upright posture, tighten that core, and then just take your leg out like this. You'll notice that the muscles in the leg around the hip and the thigh get hit just a little bit differently. Five second hold, go on the other side, and then repeat this one up to 10 times. The last one we're going to focus on a big instigator of back pain, which are the hip flexors right here in the front part of the leg. So go off to the side of your chair, have very good upright posture, tighten that core. And what you're going to do is just lift one knee up towards the ceiling as much as you can, keeping your back straight, really move through that hip and pelvis. The goal with this one is to drive the knee above the hip because that will engage those hip flexors. But if you're unable to get into that position, like let's say this is as far as I can go comfortably, build into it, do the best you can. Hopefully over time you will gain strength and flexibility to get into this position. Five second hold, you're going to relax and then repeat it on the other side. Do this for 10 complete repetitions on both sides. So once we're done with the first part and the muscles are nice and loose and warmed up, let's go into the strengthening exercises. So this first one is called a hip hiker. It's going to target muscles off to one side, including into the hip and lower back. I really like this one because it focuses on a muscle called the quadratus lumborum or QL muscle. It's a big instigator of back pain. So what I'm going to do is have very good upright posture. Again, try to tighten your core during this exercise, Put your weight evenly on your feet. I'm going to treat my body kind of like a stiff board, including my leg right here. The goal is I want to lift up on one side, drawing that hip and leg straight upward towards the ceiling as much as I can. You know you're doing this one right because you're going to feel a ton fire around that hip. You're going to feel it right here in the front part and also the lower back. It's hitting that QL muscle. Drive that leg upward as much as you can. You want to hold this one for five seconds. From there you can relax and then just repeat it on the other side. Try to do this one for 10 complete repetitions. Challenge yourself to drive up a little bit more with each repetition and activate those muscles. But once you're done with that, if you feel like that was a little bit too easy, you can take this one to the next level by going next to a staircase. So you pretty much do the same movement. You're just going to step up on a staircase and this way now what you can do is lower that side down keeping this knee right here straight as possible. So you're just moving with the side of your body right here. Go down as far as you can 
hold this movement. You're going to feel the muscles get activated a little bit differently and then lift up as much as you can this time around. It's just a little bit more challenging to be able to do this, but I try to do it for about 10 complete repetitions on both sides right next to a staircase. That way you can use the wall for a little bit more support. So let's build into what is known as the squat. If you're unfamiliar with the squat, it is one of the best strengthening exercises for the leg, the butt, and the back. So with this one, again, I'm going to start with very good upright posture. Let's tighten the core, keep the back straight during this exercise as much as possible. I want my legs roughly hip width apart. I'm going to just take my toes out very slightly, just like this. It helps take pressure off the knees. And then I'm going to put all of my body weight right on my heels. The movement from here is pretty easy. What I'm going to do is just bend my knees and then take my butt down towards the floor as much as I can. Keep going down. You should feel a deep activation of the back of the leg muscles, these hamstrings. And what you're going to do is keep going down. And once you get to a point where those muscles are firing but not causing pain, if you do hit a point of pain, come back up just slightly. Go right before that point. You want to hold this one for five seconds. From there, you're just going to come back up and relax. And then you're going to repeat this. On the next repetition, you'll probably notice that you have a little bit more flexibility to go down even further. But I try to do this one nice and slowly for about 10 complete repetitions. And if you do want to take this one to the next level, you can do a one-legged squat just like this. But whatever you do on one side, always make sure to do on the other to keep them both in balance. So one of the easiest and most back friendly ways to strengthen your leg muscles is with the bridge exercise. But I'm going to take the bridge to the next level by showing you different positions that will hit the muscles just a little bit differently. This one can be done daily in bed or on a floor. Just start lying on your back like this. What I'm going to do is have my legs roughly hip width apart. My knees are going to be bent, feet are going to be flat. I'm going to start with the basic bridge and from there progress into different movements. So take your hands, place them right on your hips just like this. Tighten your core for a little bit more support. And then what you're going to do is slowly lift up with your hips and pelvis towards the ceiling until your body is in a nice straight line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders. If you're unable to get into this position, let's say you can only go up a little bit like this, do the best you can. Over time, hopefully you will gain strength and flexibility to get into this position. But in the bridge position, I feel a ton of muscles firing. The core muscles, the lower back, the glutes, buttocks, and also the legs. I hold this one comfortably for five seconds. From there, I just come back down and relax. And then I'm going to repeat this one up to 10 times. With each repetition, focus on activating those muscles and building into it just a little bit more. You can make this one harder too by lifting one leg up like this and putting your body weight on one side. Just make sure with this one that one side doesn't sag down. You want your hips and pelvis completely flat. And whatever you do on one side, always make sure to do on the other to keep them both in balance. So let's go through different Different positions of the bridge now to target muscles just a little bit differently. Let's start by just this time around getting back into our bridge position but angling our feet, pointing our toes upward towards the ceiling and then driving our heels into the bed or the floor. When you do this you're going to notice that the muscles in the legs just get hit a little bit differently. Give that one a try. You can also do it where your toes are supporting all of your body weight. So drive your toes downward and lift up. Again, you'll notice that the muscles get hit just a little bit differently. You can also do what is known as a clamshell uh, bridge, which is going to target the glutes just a little bit more. So what you're going to do is put your feet together like this and then take your knees outward as much as you can. Really start to feel a good activation in the inner part of the thigh towards the hips and then towards the glutes. From here, the movement is roughly the same. I'm just going to lift up like this, hold it for about five seconds and then relax 10 repetitions. The last movement is going to target a little bit more for the hamstrings right here. And I really like this one because it's a dynamic movement that puts the muscles through different positions, I should say, to challenge them a little bit more to get better results. So let's get back into our original bridge position right here. What I'm going to do is then drive my heels down into the bed or the floor and then point my toes upward and then slowly walk my legs out with my heels. When you do this, you'll feel a ton of muscles 
fire in the back of the leg. So give that one a try. Go through all of the positions. If you feel like one is really just helping to address weakness or giving you a lot of pain, tightness, or stiffness relief, at that point, throw more repetitions in. Always target the positions that work the best for you. So let's save the most challenging exercise for last. This is known as star taps. It's a dynamic movement that's going to really help put the body through different positions to help challenge it to build stability, balance, and ultimately strength in the leg, knee, and hip. What I'm going to do is start standing with very good upright posture. I'm going to start by placing all of my body weight onto one side. Try to keep your body weight on your heel during this exercise also. So let's say I'm going to start with my left side right here. I'm going to just slightly bend my left knee until I feel a gentle activation of the muscles in the leg, the back of the leg, into the glutes, and then also into the back. From there, I want to tighten my core for a little bit more support. There's two ways to do the star tap. Let's begin with the easier way first. So what I'm going to do is take my hands, place them right on my hips. I'm going to take the other leg straight just like this. Keep this bent knee locked, and then you're just going to take this leg and tap in front of you just like this. Just hold it for a second or two. Your body is probably going to fight this one. You might feel like you have a lot of just balance issues with it. Do your best to keep your body nice and straight, and also make sure that your knee does not buckle in or out. Keep that straight. Again, it's all about building balance. So I like to do this for a couple times. Afterwards, what I'm going to do is just now go slightly off to my side. You're going to notice that your body is going to get challenged just a little bit more because it's throwing it off balance. And then I just keep doing this whole process, doing a nice big arc off to the side, going completely off to my side, and then going all the way back as much as I can. When you can't go back any further, work your way back forward just like this. But I try to do this whole complete cycle for about two complete sets. If you do find that one certain position, one certain angle, like let's say right here for me, just feels really weak, this is my weak link right here, focus on building into that by throwing more repetitions in. From here, we can take this one to the next level by building a little bit more leg strength into the knee also. So this time around, instead of keeping my knee completely locked, I'm going to squat down into the movement while I do it. So watch how I do this. This time around, I'm going to squat down and then tap down in front of me. This becomes extremely challenging. So only go to what you feel comfortable. When you do this also, what you want to focus on is trying to go down as far as you can, but not going into pain. If you go to a point where it is painful, back off a little bit. Through repetition, you should gain more range of motion and flexibility to build into it. But the movement from there is pretty much the same. I'm just going to build into this movement, going through that complete arc, and then doing this for two complete sets. Again, if you feel like one certain spot, one certain angle hits it just a little bit more, is addressing balance and weakness, throw more repetitions in. If the exercise has helped, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.